So first up, we have a love after lockups, Tracy. And who could forget her? She was in season two with Clint. You. Come on. No. Get my no. phone. Come on. No. Let me in. It's Get out the door. Come on. Damn, I'm taking your phone. Oh. Get out of here. Get the out of here. <laughs> I don't know what to say what. <laughs> Do you want to call your mom for my phone to check in? Just to let her know you're okay? Yeah. F*** you! Come on! No! Get my no! phone! Come on! No! Let me in! It. Get it's open me. the door! Come on! F*** you! I'm sick of your f***ing oh. Get out of here! Get the f*** out of here! As many fans saw, Tracy did go back to jail, but she is out now, and her and Clint are officially divorced. So, what is she up to? So, Tracy is now a Tory Bell consultant. Of course, that's a multi-level marketing company. Next, we have Lacey, and Lacey and Shane, because both of them have been promoting Scentsy and having online Scentsy parties. We also have Kaylin from Teen Mom 2. She was seen on her Instagram stories promoting Monat, Monet, however you say it, which was really surprising to me because she has her own hair care line called Pothead Hair. But you know what? It really should not surprise me one bit. She is also listed as a representative on their website. So I personally also asked her why she would promote a multi-level marketing company. And she, of course, did not respond to me. But I did ask her that in her Instagram live. But the thing that I don't understand is that... You know, her and her ex-husband, Javi's wife, or I'm sorry, fiance, they don't get along at all. But one thing that they do have in common is they are both promoting pyramid schemes. She has been an Arbonne consultant for a while now. Another thing about her is I did read where she used to be a Cincy representative as well. Maybe her and Lacey can hang out. They have something in common. A recent episode of Teen Mom 2 did show that Javi was trying to cheat on Lauren with Kale. And they're having, so Lauren and Javi are having relationship issues. Is that MLM part of the issue? I don't know. Who knows? So everyone wants to know why all of these individuals are joining multi-level marketing companies. And I'm going to tell you why I think they are. With a large fan base, you have so much more probability of signing individuals up. If you are a fan of someone, you know, you're going to want them as your upline because you get to talk to them. You get to be in groups with them. And they're a celebrity to you. So you want that one-on-one -on -one time with, you know, with someone that you consider a celebrity. And that's why people are going to join under individuals who are on television or reality TV shows, same thing, whatever. And that's my belief on why that is. And you guys, I have only been doing anti-MLM YouTube for a little over a year. I know that's not an excuse, but I just want to apologize for all the editing issues that I have. And I am trying. I've been in the film industry for years, but I did make up. I did not do editing. So I really do appreciate everyone's patience. And again, thanks for watching.